What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate Tool Reviews. Now, unfortunately, the last video I did on this um, had some issues, so I had to take it down and basically redo it. So this is some of the tools that, you know, I'm not really a fan of. You know, I, I have a lot of tools from a lot of different brands. Um, of course, you know, not every brand, and this goes for, you know, every brand out there for the most part, um, they are gonna make some tools that are just, you know, not up to par. So this is kind of my list of tools that I feel like, you know, are probably some of the worst tools that I've had in my opinion. So let's get right into it. All right, let's start with my, one of my probably favorite brands personally, Makita. So Makita has made, you know, a lot of great tools over the years and I've gotten a Makita probably about three or four years ago now is when I first got into Makita pretty heavily. And I will say the kind of the main area of Makita tools that I really dislike is the subcompact series. Um, and the reason I don't like the subcompact series tools at all, I've owned a few of them, like the impact driver, I've owned the drill, um, I had the recip saw, I think Zach has the circular saw I've used a couple of times. Um, those tools, they aren't really that much lighter or smaller to really justify, you know, sometimes a bit higher of a price at times. And, you know, they don't really save that much weight, in my opinion, or size. Uh, if you compare, you know, the size of some of those tools to regular, you know, mid-range Makita tools, you can actually get the mid-range Makita stuff cheaper, and sometimes they're even, in certain ways, smaller, and, you know, maybe just a little bit heavier. Um, I really don't see the justification for those tools too much. Um, and then if I need smaller tools, I'm probably just going to go to, like, the 12-volt stuff. Like, if I have a lot of DeWalt 12-volt, that's easily my favorite, you know, subcompact stuff. And honestly, when it comes to 18 volt subcompact, my favorite of all time is gonna be Metabo HPT. Um, they make just, in my opinion, the drills and impacts in that line are just way better than the Makita stuff. I've said this in a number of videos now. Um, I just much prefer the Metabo HPT version of the subcompacts versus the Makitas. Um, and that's basically just because, you know, for one price, Metabo HPT is gonna be a lot cheaper in that range. And I feel like they're actually a quite a bit smaller while still being decently powerful. If you've ever used the Makita uh, subcompact reciprocating saw, that thing is way, way underpowered. Um, the, like the DeWalt one is about the same size and almost twice the power. I've had both at the same time. Uh, it's no contest going into the DeWalt one. Um, other than that though, with Makita, I've been pretty solid. It's kind of the only chunk of tools there or line of tools there that I felt really fell short of the par there. All right, so let's move into DeWalt now. Um, I owned DeWalt tools before I even owned Makita tools, and I would say some of the tools that I've owned from DeWalt, um, if, you, if you know DeWalt well enough, you know they kind of like to slap their name on pretty much anything. And I would say they're definitely a bit more hit than they are miss, of course. Um, I've had overall pretty good luck with DeWalt tools over the years, but their worst tools, in my opinion, are gonna be all their tools that are in that homeowner grade classification. And if you wonder what I'm talking about there, it's all those tools that they make that are gonna be the really low level brush tools. Now these tools basically are lower than anything Milwaukee or Makita puts out. It's basically gonna be like Ryobi, low end craftsman grade stuff. It doesn't really make any sense for DeWalt to have these tools. They're trying to just hit price points with that. And just like their recip saw is just terrible in that, in that range there. Um, what's that brush recip saw? I've had a lot of issue with those over the years. I think I had like four or five go bad and be warrantied. Um, and that kind of pushed me into higher end DeWalt, higher end Makita stuff. Um, overall, you know, they make a lot of tools, but their lowest end stuff, honestly, I think it makes the brand look overall, you know, kind of muddied out there, in my opinion. I really wish they would improve some of those tools and just get rid of most of those tools and go to like a good, better, best system like Milwaukee and Makita does, where even their entry level stuff is pretty solid still. They're not trying to hit a price point with it. That's just their good, better, best system. Whereas DeWalt has, you know, like 15 different levels of tools. <laughs> They've got so much going on there. It's just really, um, it's kind of sad to see that DeWalt has got such, such low level tools that you probably are gonna have an issue with, in my opinion. All right, moving over to Milwaukee. This one's gonna be a little more controversial here. Um, I don't like M12 stuff at all. I can't stand the stick packs. I've had it for a while. Um, I think I had it for about a year and a half. I had some of the M12 stuff. I still have you know, some M18 stuff. I'm not a huge fan of Milwaukee, but I still, you know, some of the tools they make are fantastic. Um, big fan of Packout myself. 
um, M18, they do have some awesome tools, but M12, in my opinion, the stick packs are just, that's so 1990s. Um, you hear all the time online about guys complaining about the tabs breaking um, in those rocket lights. Those, those are almost impossible to get those batteries out of those things. It's just, a, in my opinion, a terrible design from Milwaukee. I wish they would just update it to stick packs like every other brand has gone over to now. Um, now there's some cool stuff in there. You have some awesome solution tools in the M12 line. The inspection camera is absolutely amazing. I have one of those. Really saved me a number of times on a few jobs. Um, but you know, the stick packs, I can never get behind the stick packs. Um, I think they're just really cheap design in my opinion. Uh, it's just, you know, it's an outdated design. The tabs are always breaking off. It's hard to get those batteries in and out. They don't like to sit flat anywhere. It's just not my preference for tools. And you know, I, I wish if Milwaukee came with a brand new M12 line that was slide packs, that'd be absolutely amazing. I think that would just, you know, dominate all the uh, 12 volt lines out there. And you know, Dwell's been putting up a really good fight recently with that. Um, but I feel like they kind of have like these like spurts of here's some new tools, and then we go like a year or two with nothing, and then here's some new tools, and then a year or two with nothing from DeWalt. So that's kind of what I've seen from you know some of those brands, you know, going back and forth when it comes to some of those tools. And finally, um, Atabo HPT is a newer brand that I've got into recently. Um, I think they make some absolutely fantastic tools. I'm overall impressed with their line quite a bit, but they do make two tools that I can absolutely not get behind, and that is gonna be their right angle grinder and their oscillating tool. Those two tools generally come in right at the bottom of the barrel of every review that I've seen. Uh, I don't know why they haven't updated those just yet. They really desperately need an update for those tools. Um, of course, I watch reviews before I buy tools myself. I don't just buy tools uh, here and there for fun, but I like to definitely know what I'm getting into before I buy it. And those two tools have definitely fallen short from what I can tell from Metabo's, you know, overall quality of their line is fantastic, but they need to update some of those tools definitely. And they're not a tool I would recommend until they are definitely updated. Um, Oscillating tool especially, every review I've seen on that thing, it just kind of comes in dead last. It's clunky, it vibrates a lot and it has like no power. So guys, that's some of, this, uh, some, of the stuff, some of the tools that I found, you know, that I'm just not a fan of, I guess you could say my most disliked tools out there. So guys, hope you enjoyed the video guys. Take care, have a great day and stay safe out there.